everybody welcome to my channel um i'm ready to go watch the joker throw a peace sign in the comment section for those of you who watch the joker so with that in mind i did by myself and my co-pilot of a viewer that's going to be forced to be to my wife's side and watch the movie <laughs> you gotta almost hijack your children sometimes to make them want to do something with you because these people growing up and getting the hell on and nobody would have been real quality you know the kind where they got to put the phone down this is an all day haul y'all know i just thought go right in talking I hope you guys are having a fantastic Thursday. As you can hear, I'm in a pretty darn good mood because I feel like I hit a nice jackpot. I have a lot of Bobby approved. Bear in mind, I have teenagers. So there are some things on this table that is not Bobby approved. But for the things that is, it's for me. And I was happy to have scored it. And I also like the final purchase ticket because I really am trying to uh, be a better steward of funds for the 2020 that's my personal goal all right guys um teenagers uh some cocoa puffs type of uh imitation we have the reese's pieces um imitation cereal they were like a dollar 50 and a dollar 99 um this is some Clancy's or something like that movie theater popcorn. I want to say this was under $2. The prices was just phenomenal. Some chickpea panilla pasta that is USDA organic, you guys. Organic verified. And this was like um, $1.99 or $2.99. Either way, that was a good price point because they can run $6, $5 and such at, you know, more nutritional based stores um and that was bobby approved here's another bobby approved i found the veggie burgers and this is earth grown vegan uh the parmesan crisp bobby approved bobby approved so i had one flavor is the cheese snack and the original and then this one is jalapeno these are also Bobby approved. This is the vanilla favored uh, coconut cashew crisp. So this is like a nice a thin biscuit of a cookie crisp. I'm hoping I like it. Oh, heck you guys. I didn't mean to get two vanillas. I meant to get one vanilla and then they had a caramel. And then they also had like a fudge um, one. I'm not into that one. I got two of these. One for myself and one to go in the giveaway. Um, this is a snack on you go containers. Now we... Yes, so this was $1.99, which was cheaper than I've seen at other places. Um, some of this is going to be in German. I want to say German or Dutch, Sweden um, language, so I'm not going to pronounce it very well. Um, these are some Knoppers, mi uh, Milk Hazelnut Wafer Crisp, and it's uh, five individually wrapped. These are... Some roasted red pepper hummus. Now, I couldn't find for Diddly Squat on here, like organic. But when I read the ingredients, they were relatively clean. The only thing I would say Bobby probably would harp on is the fact that it does have canola oil. It is not expeller press and it's not organic. But aside it not being organic, the ingredients profile was pretty decent. So this one is red pepper, roasted red pepper hummus. The next one we have here is some guacamole spicy singles. Each one has six cups, but the ounces are different. Different For the avocados, it is six two-ounce cups. Let's see here now. Okay, no, um, pardon me. The ounces are the same. It's just, for whatever reason, it looks... They're, they're, the packaging is... They're packaged differently. Okay, so I got one spicy... Let me angle this better. It's a lot of glare. In this video one spicy one classic uh, for my son I have uh, four cans of the Vienna sausage I was able to uh, score these this is some Irish cheddar cheese and this is the vintage the pure Irish butter from countryside creamery um, and these are imported you guys so I really like that and plus you already know I'm a little bit of a snob when it comes to the cheeses and the butters I um, just prefer it 
from El Suez and brought in to the USA. This one is made um, without RBS team. And this is a mature Irish cheddar cheese. Each one, vintage, matured, it, it, the aging process, it, length of time, and probably what they're using, is a, it varies. It's just a little different. But just so you can see for yourself, it is pasteurized cow's milk, um, salt, starter cultures, and somebody else. And then we have here some mild Irish cheddar cheese. I'm going to probably cut this in half. I'm hoping they're in slices. That would be even better because I want to use those in um, a healthy version of um mac and cheese yeah man um these are some frozen sweet potatoes i really do like sweet potatoes i just don't like the hassle of cutting them up which i think i'm gonna start pre-steaming them but halfway which would make the dicing a lot easier on me but anyways i have two bags of these and they were dollar 95 each i have two av avocados i have some sardines and this one is already in hot sauce. Some tomato basil. When I flipped it around, the ingredients profile on this thing was good. It was also Bobby approved from an old video. Marinara sauce, which is decent. It had a decent um, profile. Some uh, Adame pasta spaghetti, 25 grams. Of now, with this, guys, I intend to do some red onions diced with some fresh garlic, um, saute it in a little bit of that Irish butter, yeah? Season it up a little bit, word. And then I want to cook the pasta, add it to that, what I just said, and then kind of chill it a little bit. I'll make some type of vinaigrette dressing from scratch, and then I'll use that same avocado I just showed you and some cherry tomatoes sliced up, blend it together, and there you go, peace out, easy easy on your waist easy on your pop let me start <laughs> that lady don't wear the singing oh my god so now we got uh some chipotle ranch dressing from simply uh nature and when i i, I you know this was a naisha approved <laughs> this was a roll approved dressing because you know overall it was good until i saw natural smoke flavor so they was on the roll bro until we seen it. and even bobby is starting to let a few things slide that has that nat um that natural flavor or something because he just you know right now the world ain't there they're moving in that direction but all every single product is you know what i'm saying so you gotta ease up just a smidge just a smidge red lentil uh, rigatoni that's where that um mac and cheese this is good like who is that annie's um she has a organic cow uh, type of mac and cheese in a box which is good but it's four dollars it's like 3.99 a box at whole foods these were less than that far less than that for the movie got some um yeah this guy them gummies everybody see everywhere nine and it was 95 cent there some mambo sour um chews i want to say they were like a dollar nine maybe a dollar fifty to the most this is also bobby approved this is some knock your sprouts off bread um here's that other one so i guess this one is you guys one of you guys another one of those irish butters i'm trying guys i'm trying to move it um, some Harvati. I know I probably didn't say that right, but some deli cheese, and I really do like this in mac and cheese. Um, also, um, oh goodness, I can't think of this. Just slipped my mind, y'all. Um, I was so happy to find some organic sliced cheeses. Um, and so this one is Kobe and Monterey Jack. Again, with that mac and cheese, the cheese sauce um, in the pot, pour it over the noodles, and then mix it, blend, put it in the oven, Merry Christmas. Top that thing off if you want to with a little bit of diced fried bacon. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And a little breadcrumbs. Then we got some uh, deli sliced white mild cheddar cheese. I stocked up on a lot of the cheeses. One, because I got a couple of dishes in mind that I wanted to prepare. And two... It's been almost two years since I've been to Aldi. Somebody need to just smack me back and forth for that disrespectful move on my wallet. I don't know who the hell I thought I was, but I won't be making that boo-boo no more. Uh-uh. 
Roll got to be over at Aldi at least minimum once every three weeks because I was just blown away by the prices. You can eat there relatively healthy on a budget. These are also Bobby approved. These are some uncured beef hot dogs. These are like a version of the Applegate ones. And I got two packs. Booyah. Um, again, little boys and a little grown woman from time to time. These are some vanilla sandwich cream cookies. We got some jalapeno kettle chips. We got some sea salt. Uh, pita chips. These are roll approved. <laughs> Done. Got some sweet onions, some Fuji apples. Look at this, guys. Whoo! They coming for And this this was imported. Let me tell you where this came from. This came from Germany. Y'all knew I was going to be all over it. I'm all over it, bruh. Just can't wait to crack that open. I saw this. Some che chicken jalapeno and cheese lean pocket. Oh, had to go buy some bags because I brought my own but ran out. Um, I needed three more, so I saw this buying bags. So I was like, yeah, man, why not? Why not? Why not? Let's give this a try. So we got some chocolate dip cookies. This is a trio. Talking about some extra indulgent. Yeah, I bet you is. This some uh, peanut butter and dark chocolate drizzle. Milk tart chocolate and dark chocolate drizzle. And dark chocolate and some caramel drizzle with the sea salt. Blah, 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 blah. That lady excited. That, that lady excited. Cause I don't save money. You know, that made anybody happy. We got some pretzel sticks. That lady couldn't wait to get home. Look. Boom, 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 <laughs> Oh, boy. I got the teenager some part tarts. Then they said it was over to the friend house. And the friend parent bought like seven or eight boxes of them. I thought he tied up. I was like, my bad. I'm about a minute. <laughs> Look, I ain't trying to kill the children on no top. <laughs> Have a window there. <laughs> Tight throat. <laughs> I'm not trying to do my kids like that. <laughs> so I didn't know. <laughs> These are Barbie approved. These are beef dill tongues. Uh, jerking. Look, y'all. That lady was in there. Lost her mind when I seen that German chocolate. And it was so much more. It took everything. You know, it was Jesus, some angels. They were all in crest around me. And they was like, lady, don't do it to your waist. Don't do it. So I got this. So I got a white chocolate. But look how thick it is, too. Ooh. Then we got some strawberry yogurt. Look at them. Tell me some smooth and creamy. You know, if I really had the right editing with it, just put some porn music in the background. Smooth and creamy. <laughs> I better taste the way it looks. I'm going to be very highly upset. Um, Listen, uh, we got some milk toffee crunch. Look at that. That's that, they're trying to say private chocolatiers. What? Ooh, and it's fair trade. What you say, Linda? So now we got some white chocolate. Look at it. Look how fancy it is. Y'all comment if you want to try one. I'll get you one when I and put it in the box. Now, I can't guarantee from Florida to wherever you at, it'll make it safely, but I'll wrap it up where it don't spill and leak all over the place in the box. And this is for the movie, for the Joker. And then here we go. We got some peanut butter and filled cookies. Now, I like these. Who is that? Little Debbie. Little Debbie makes something like this. And Girl Scout. So, I like to try their version of it and see how we go. Look what them people had. Hawaiian sweet bread. Day version. Mm, mm, mm. Any version until, I guess, Dave's or somebody make one is going to be, you know, you know. But, hey, it was a fraction of the cost for that many. Twelve rolls. And then we have a regular can of sardines. I have... I bought three, I believe, three or four of the 100% grass-fed and finished beef. Look at it. Talking about they don't want them some awards. They gold. They gold standard in their industry. Mm -mm -mm. Then this was a dollar and what? A dollar and fifty-nine? dollar ninety-nine? Bagels? Who? I don't know what this is made out of. If this was made in the laboratory or what. But that price incredible all right we almost finished i feel like i'm missing one of these i don't know why but i'm almost certain i tried to buy two so maybe it's one oh i see it 
I didn't show y'all the drinks. Let me show y'all the drinks. Oh, for my wine connoisseurs, I need to insert a picture. So what I'm gonna do, y'all need y'all didn't vote. Only one, a couple of people voted before I took it down for the wellness planner. But I gotta show y'all that, and I need to when I do that make a video and show you guys all the the little wines and stuff. Who told them to be a little liquor store? Anyhow, I need y'all help because I, if you want to know about bourbons and Cavassiers, some whiskey. I'm not that into no whiskey. But brandies and things. I'm your girl. Wines? Uh-uh. So, boat don't know. Boat don't know. Diddly. So, we got some organic milk. One whole. And then I got this, their version of uh, grass fed so boom boom got some napoleon sandwich cookies i got this guy because i felt like you know i keep it fresh home this is something I can, that will fit in my locker and i can take it to work with me you know eat right if it don't make it to work then it's still a nice great snack at home y'all hear this oh my goodness got some mixed greens usda organic oh my goodness you guys the prices i just couldn't get over the prices hallelujahs um, we got some chicken breasts. This was like five ninety nine. I know, right? We need a moment of silence for some meat that is under ten dollars. Two of those sweet potatoes again. Some colorful carrots, and they also had color for cauliflower. But I said I start with the carrots and see how it goes. Pizza for this evening. I was so tempted to get um this hamburger place next door but i didn't know how to add in my uber ride mm, mm, that lady getting old got some organic strawberries organic blackberries maple smoke ham let's see here now guys and oven roasted turkey breast organic organic then we have here no preservatives um, no nitrates and all that. So none in it and none added. Then it's talking about some except those naturally occurring in sea salt and celery powders. <laughs> you know, I'm craving for some bacon. Are you aching for some bacon? Y'all remember that commercial? I don't know where that come from. But yeah, anyhow, I don't threw that in there. A reference from somewhere I can't remember. Are you aching for some bacon? I got two packs of those, some jalapeno peppers, the little boy some jello cups, two kabuchas, and let me shoot back around so I can show you the planners at a quick glance. Whoo! This is for y'all. I'm just gonna take it out of the pack and pop one of each into the giveaway box. Um, these are for me. Yeah, the lady like pins. This is not for anyone but my child. Alright, see? See, y'all didn't want to comment. I should have voted, but here it go. I'm alive and full, full effect. Now, this is a large size. This is like an 8 by 10 Look at this parent planner. Even come with a little ruler. Go head on. You got your personal info, family, neighbors, friends. I love it. For parents that still like hire in a, a babysitter or even if you have like a nanny, you're going to be going back to work. You know, people on that level, you know what I'm saying? Or let's say you, your your parents uh, is going to house sit for you or watch the kids while you and your homeboy, you know, hubby, y'all go on a vacation or something like that. These are very good things that you could leave at your desk or in the kitchen, which it'll be quick reference. Hell, there's a lot. I have some friends who have partners and they don't know half as much as the wife know. You know what I'm saying? So the, even the dads can open this up and, you know, holler at a player, learn them some things and reference. Look at this, y'all, the electric electrician company the contact number and everything you guys you can write notes good service great service quick you know short window whatever you know short time window utility information you can even write when it was serviced last over there then you got property insurance auto insurance all the contact information right there your medical insurance your plan id where well, you don't have to go run hold on a second let me go get my card all that you could write that right there and it's just so long that you could really write multiple household you know divide the page with a ruler and write jimmy tom and francis i don't know where them names came from but you know they info plug it in right there this is something i have to come back and do like an individual um review on but look at this y'all weekly grocery list you know i love unplanned 
um, undated planners. They are my best friend. Um, look how you could cop, uh, put your menu for the week. So those who love that meal prepping and cooking in bulk and the freezer meal people and all that, this is for you. They had this book. They made it with you and mine, girlfriends, boyfriends out there. So yeah, let's see. Let's turn the page. Look how you could put your chair in each individual family member info right there. Okay, we got to get out of this. You know, I get excited about books and things and saving money. This was a phenomenal price. I don't even want to say the price. It's, it was just so reasonable. Here is the info for the wellness book. Just a couple of quick pages of a turn. Look, y'all. Oh, my God. Just incredible then i got my middle sign this little axe kit do tell about the wine winking oil uh, owl california cabernet this one i love this this helped me so much you guys with this particular brand because it was able to tell me that it was semi dry medium body what type of foods it pairs well with what type of temperature to serve it and what the flavor notes would be. So for someone who don't know, Bo don't know about the wine. This gave me a lot of information. And I bought that because I got some beef stew and things like that that I have in mind that I'd like to cook coming up. $2.95. Got some Irish cream. Their version of it. I even Google it. It has four out of eight to five stars. Um... $8.99, you guys. You know, is it healthy? It's alcohol. You know, it's alcohol related. It's on a curb. So I'm not looking to like slim fast with it. You know what I'm trying to say? <sighs> then I found um, a strawberry one. It was only three. So I bought one. I was like, who? Who called me? And this one, um, they said you can serve it on the rocks. You can serve it in your coffee drink blends. They didn't say drink blends, but that's me adding it in them. But it did say in your coffee and your favorite dessert. So, yeah, that would go well in a strawberry cake batter. Then we got another Winking Owl, $2.95. And this one is, guess what? Sweet. Medium body, blackberry, raspberry, velvety, and a soft finish. Um ribs and spicy stuff so since i like spicy stuff since i like ribs that's all that that, that other guy there you go boom boom there you go and then here we go we have this one this one i'm cracking open today i'm gonna give this a try 14.5 percent alcohol and this one now y'all check this out ain't this something now uh i did read while i was in the store it was talking about some of the wine snobs um, don't consider this real wine. I don't know. I consider this a real alcoholic beverage. And this is wine that's been aged in a bourbon barrel, y'all. Expertly crafted, our Cabernet is gently finished by resting in a charm, I'm, hello, charred American whiskey barrels to create depth and flavor, producing a smooth and well-rounded wine. Let me give y'all the flavor profile. Let's skip down to the bottom. Uh, let's see here. It says the re reward is a seamless wine with the distinctive notes of vanilla, black cherry, dry herbs. Pairs well with, hey, um, grilled and smoked red meats, pork, lamb, and burgers, you guys. Best served at room temperature. They even had, and I was considering buying it for you guys more so than anything, a portable um wine rack i thought that was neat oh and i did get some avocado oil all right guys you know me i always end up missing something but we're going to jump on out of this thing before we get into 25 minutes comment in the comment box if you made it this far did you like the planners which one would you you know would want to have or want to see one of them come up in the giveaway not these particular two but i can i will be going back very very soon and i can grab one for the giveaway um it was something else that i mentioned in this video for you guys to speak on oh the chocolate if you would like one of the chocolates i don't think we could ship alcohol because that was the first thing on my brain cell it was like oh my god this would be make such a nice mommy time thing to add into the box anyways i'm out y'all peace